Hello, it's Andrew here at Life from Pig Row, and today I'm going to show you how to turn this into seed. Now, a tomato you can cut in half and plant and it will germinate because the seeds in there are ready, but that's no good at this time of year. This time of year we want to get the seed out, get it cleaned and use it next spring. So this is how to do it. You need a jar of water. It doesn't have to be bottled water, it can be tap water. You need one tomato. You then put it in the jar, like so. Ready? And squeeze it so everything comes out. You can let them drop in if you want. Normally you can just take the seed out and let that fall in. And so it's gonna... Mm, 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 mm. You do that. Squeeze it. And get the seed in. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So, there we are. All the innards of my tomatoes in there. And see, look at the shape. And what we're doing this is knocking off the mucus that's around the seed. You see it spinning. Like a really weird spring glow. The alternative to a snow globe, the spring globe. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the lid off, leave it for a few days until it gets a bit funky, keep shaking it, it will ferment on the top. And what will happen is the good seed will sink to the bottom, the bad seed will float, and then it's just a matter, and I'm going to show you how to do that in a few days' time, of washing off the seed, getting it nice and dry, and you've got your seed for next year. What have I done with the tomato skins? I've stuffed them with pesto. Mm. Hello and welcome back. It's five days later and this is our seed. And I'll show you what to do with it now. So this is what it looks like inside and it's not advisable to smell it. I've just smelt it and there was that moment of in my throat where I gagged quite a lot. I'm going to show you now how to get it from this slurry into seed. So one sieve, one jar and there it goes like so. And you will see seed in the bottom and you will have to Pick over some of this, pick it out. Then it's a matter of just running that. Now, if you want, you can return it to the jar. So I'm just scraping the seed back in. Seeds back in there. Water again. And the reason for this is just to remove some of the gunk that may still be around. Can you see? I know the light's not great in here. We'll do that. And here we go again.
we've got seed. So I'm going to show you what it looks like next. So there's the seed. I can leave it now, put it somewhere warm and dry, let the seed dry out, and that's my tomato seeds for next year, and they're great. So that's how you collect tomato seed. So until next time, it's goodbye from me at Life of Big Row. My name's Andrew. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoy the channel, don't forget to share with your friends. Until next time, bye-bye.